In this video, we will show an in-depth and practical explanation of how to fit the Pure Highway 400 and 600 into your vehicle. There is a slight difference in this process for the Highway 600, but this will be covered later in the video. This fitting should take us around 5 to 10 minutes to complete. Before we start anything, it's best to check if we have all the correct components in the packaging for the fitting. We should have a receiver, magnetic grounding towel and DAB film aerial which together make our antenna. It may already be partly assembled out of the box. We also have a wireless controller that comes with two AAA batteries and a bracket for mounting on our dashboard. A microphone for Bluetooth hands-free, however this is only available with the Highway 600 model. A USB power adapter. And finally, we also should have some self-adhesive cable clips and a cleaning wipe. Once we've checked we have all the right components, it's time to start the fitting process. Begin with wiping down the top corner of the windscreen on the passenger side with a cleaning wipe. Whilst this is drying, we can start with inserting the grounding tail. The magnetic grounding tail needs to connect with the roof of the vehicle. This is to ensure we get the best possible DAB signal to our highway. Ensure the magnetic side of the tail is facing upwards. Gently pull down the front of the roof liner in the centre of the passenger side so that a small gap is created. Slide in the magnetic grounding tail, leaving the connector exposed. Slide it to the edge of the windscreen until it is approximately 40 millimetres away. Now we need to ensure the tail is connected to our roof. Gently tug on the tail and we should feel resistance. Once the grounding tail is connected and in position, we can move on to the aerial, microphone and receiver. Connect the aerial to the receiver. Connect the microphone to the receiver. It should click into place and be fully inserted like this. Now we can connect the receiver to the magnetic grounding tail whilst it is still attached to our roof. Once all the connections have been made, peel off the plastic film from the bottom of the receiver and stick it to the windscreen. Then peel off the plastic film from the antenna and stick that to the windscreen. Once successful, the highway should look like this. We can now move on to routing the cables. Locate your auxiliary input and your accessories power socket as cables need to be inserted into them. There are three ways to route the cables from the receiver to both the inputs. The first way is to route the cables behind the pillar. Tuck the cable between the pillar and the windscreen. The second way is to route the cables around the inside of the door frame. The top of the wire can be fed through the gap in the pillar. Then, we simply tuck the wire into the door frame. The third way is to stick the cables to the windscreen using the self-adhesive cable clips. Every vehicle is different, so we can choose whichever method is easiest for us. After we have routed the cables down the side of our vehicle, they should come underneath the glove box and tuck behind the carpet into trim towards the front of the vehicle. Split the auxiliary and power cables at the end so there is enough length to reach both sockets. Plug the USB into the supplied power adapter and into the accessories power socket. The aux in can go directly into the aux in socket. If you do not have an aux in socket, you can connect via FM transmit which we will cover later. As we have the Highway 600, we also have to fit the microphone. The hands-free kit should already be plugged into the receiver. Tuck the cables into the roof liner along the front of the windscreen towards the driver's side. We can also use the self-adhesive clips along the top of the car. Route the cables to the sun visor and attach the microphone to this. Now that all the components of the highway are connected to our car, the only thing remaining is the wireless controller. Insert the included batteries into the controller. Slide the controller onto the bracket.
find an area on the dashboard in arm's reach of the driver. Remove the adhesive from the back of the bracket and stick it down firmly. Now everything is fitted, we need to set up highway and find DAB stations. Turn the car key into the accessory position. The LED on the receiver will turn green. The wireless controller will now pair with the receiver. Once paired, we will be guided through a setup process. Choose the language. Choose either line out or FM transmit depending on how we are connecting to the car's stereo. Here we are connecting via line out. Change audio options if required. Now select aux in on the car stereo to begin playing DAB stations. If we are connecting via FM transmit, select this option during setup instead. Tune to the default station shown on your highway. We can store this frequency as a preset on our car's audio system for easy access. Highway will now play through our car speakers. Now we can also install the Pure Go app to unlock additional features such as track tagging and Spotify Connect streaming. The first step is to install the Pure Go app from the Apple App Store or Google Play Store from our phone or tablet. The app will guide us through the setup process. Open the app and select the product under Set up a new product. We now need to pair the app to our highway. Tap the home button, select settings, then Bluetooth. Select Pair, then Pure Go App. We will be shown a code. Back to the app, we can now tap Enter Code from Highway on our mobile device and type in the code shown on our highway. Tap Pair if prompted. On our mobile device, now open Settings and go to Bluetooth. Select the highway from the list of devices. If the wireless controller prompts us, confirm by selecting Yes. Now we can either create an account or log in from an existing Pure account. Enable track tagging by simply tapping track tagging and agreeing to the terms and conditions. Enable Spotify by tapping Spotify and logging in with your Spotify Premium account. We have now completed the highway setup process. Thank you for watching and happy listening.